Hi, I'm Ed Fantasi. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, Q Show again. Uh, more on the healing art this time and the use of the 6G hands or the energy hands. Now these hand positions, these six positions, as you know from my martial talks, have talked about getting into the deeper structures of the nerve and the vascular tissue, organ structures and whatnot. But it also works with Twina. Now I've been doing Twina, which is a healing um, process, much like acupuncture or acupuncture pressure only just with um, physical pressure. I've been certified for 35 years plus. Um, so uh, I've been working with these uh, hand positions and they do help considerably. Now I know a lot of people use their palms and their wrists uh, and their fingertips or thumb tip, but the hand positions help you get into those uh, structures at a deeper level. And I like working with them because uh, they say fatigue on my fingers and thumbs which is a big problem for um, a lot of therapists uh, over time and, and working with people on a professional basis for healing. Uh, they just wear out from repetitive stress. Well, these hand positions save you an awful lot of that stress and that repetition because you can use different hand positions to get into those deep structures. And they work well because they do use a rotational energy and it seems to penetrate a little deeper and work into the um, healing process just a little bit finer. Uh, as example, if you're working on a nerve in the leg uh, and you need to get between the muscle structures, doing it with your fingertips can be pretty difficult, especially if you're uh, a female or a person with smaller hands and you have a larger uh, male individual with strong legs uh, from biking, martial arts, whatever sport they're in. Uh, but these hand positions, these G hand positions do help considerably because there is no fatigue, but you still get deep into the tissue and release an awful lot of um, the energies that are built up inside because that's what they're meant to do is dissipate the energies. Now the G, I believe, um, stems from the other individual's energy, not so much your own. And we're using a rotational force, but we're not trying in healing or hurting um, to project our own energy in. Now in healing, if we project our energy in, it'll backlash, it'll come back at you. For example, I've gotten headaches in my early career as a tween therapist, um, getting rid of people's headaches. Uh, it will jump if you're really um, working with the energy transfer back and forth. On the hurting aspect of it uh, as well, if you use all your personal energy, well, you're going to get fatigued faster. And we've proven that time and time again on the mats. So what you need to do is allow the um, kinetic energy uh, formed by these hand positions work to uh, adapt to the op opponent or uh, patient's energy levels and their structures. And that's what seems to work the best. I've been playing with it for well, about two, 20 years now, two decades, uh, and I'm getting great results with it. Not just the fingertips, um, but with the iron bone hand, as example, or the iron sword. Uh, single blade of grass, but not in a uh, finger poking type of method, rather than a more of a, a grabbing method with the last three fingers. Um, so there's lots of things you can do and train yourself with. Now here's the great part. If you're healing on a regular basis especially, uh, and you're using these hands, they're going to be so natural and you're going to be so accustomed to it that when you're working it with a martial flair or a martial need, they're going to be more natural, instinctive, and they're going to find their targets much easier. So again, this is why we stress in the Kyushu International System um, working with the healing and the hurting at the same time. Otherwise, you only have one side and you miss half the potential an opportunity that you could otherwise have. So there's some other ideas on the six hands and uh, healing this time in Twina. You take care. Oh, please subscribe uh, and you'll be updated uh, daily if you ring that, push that little um, notification bell as well. And I'm not going to be posting these to Facebook. This is going to be YouTube. Uh, and it automatically links to my Twitter account and my Google Plus account. So if you have those, you can find it there as well. So um, again, click subscribe, thumbs up, comment, whatever you want to do. You take care now.